Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards. Welcome to Life Focus. I was talking with a friend the other day and he said to me, Tony, I'm having a really hard time breaking a habit. He said, it's not anything that's really destructive or anything, but it's a habit nonetheless that I don't like. It's, it's, it's a nuisance. And I've been doing it for a number of years and some people have pointed it out to me and I just, I'm, I'm just trying to do something to break it. And I'm not quite sure what to do. How do I change a habit? It's my life focus for today, changing a habit. But before I go into that, I would like to ask all of you to keep in prayer. I'm only gonna give first names, Tom and Pastor Monty. Keep them in prayer today. They're both battling different things in and out of the hospital and ask you to just keep them in prayer. Thank you. Changing a habit. Now, I'm going to work today with the, also from the work of Annie Lynn, MBA. Because Annie says, and I, and I agree completely, that some habits form out of repetition and routine. You just can't help it. They just form, right? Other habits form as a way of avoiding unwanted, but often necessary activities. So, you know, whether right now, whether you've decided to make personal change or simply want to change up your day-to-day -day routine, changing a habit can be the start of a very meaningful personal transformation. And, you know, Tina, as we prepare for change, we have to recognize the undesirable habit. What is it that you're doing that, that you don't like or maybe others don't like and have mentioned it to you. You see, before you can actually change any aspect of yourself, you'll need to acknowledge that something needs to change and identify the habit you wish to break. What is it that you're trying to break? What habit is it that you want to say, you know what, I want to get rid of it. I'm tired of it. Whatever your situation might be, identifying what isn't working well in your life is the first step towards change. Many times we, we have a habit or we do something and we really don't like it. And we have to identify what it is that's not working well for us to change. And sometimes it's just our attitude. Think about all the undesirable situations currently in your life. Hopefully there aren't many. But do you suffer from money, money problems, from health issues like obesity or smoker's cough, hygienic problems, Give yourself an honest assessment and identify those areas that, that in your life are causing you problems. And you know, it doesn't matter whether others think they are or not. If you think they are, then it's an issue. and You gotta deal with it. Once you've identified the undesired situations in your life, then you take a step back and analyze your behavior and your actions to determine what you're doing that is causing or creating those situations. Why am I doing this? Do I want to do it? Does it feel good? Does it feel good while I'm doing it and then I regret it afterwards? You see, most undesirable habits fall into one of three categories. Habits of the mind, such as thinking about negative thoughts about yourself, maybe. Habits of consumption, like overeating or smoking cigarettes. And habits of behavior, such as anxious nail biting or biting your lips or your cheeks. Which one is your habit falling into? Now, I'm not asking you today to look at all habits. I'm just asking you to think about one habit that you have, that, you know, you want to change or you want to get rid of. Then the second thing you do is determine your motivating factors. Now that you've recognized what it is that's causing your problems, think about why you engage in that behavior. Why do I do that? Why? Think about why you continue to engage in your undesirable habit, even though, even though you recognize that it's causing you problems. Why do I still do this? Well, some of the most common reasons for bad habits are because we want attention, we want pleasure, we want gratification, we're not getting it. We want excitement. I'm going to try this. Remember when you were a kid and your parents said, no, don't do this? It was the excitement of trying it to see what was really going to happen. Sometimes we want comfort or validation. Sometimes we're trying to avoid something. And sometimes we're just trying to say, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm gonna forget about the consequences and I'm gonna do it. 
Are your bad behaviors reinforced by others or just by your own needs? Is it just you that's saying, I've got a problem, but I, I, I know it's up to me to break it. Think about why your motivators like attention, validation, are, why are they important to you? What do you get out of feeling this way? Why is it that way? Then you need to identify your triggers. You see, sometimes recognizing your motivation will help you recognize your triggers. For example, you might be seeking excitement because of boredom or seeking pleasure or gratification because you're stressed out. But other times your triggers might be less obvious. So we need to train our minds to become more aware of our moods, our thoughts, and our feelings, and not just work off of emotion. Take a step back and, you know, think about why am I engaging in this? Why am I doing this? I really don't want to, but yet I do. Then we have to commit to the change. Studies show that commitment to change is a vital part of the transformation process. You see, without deep personal commitment, most people cannot change themselves or their habits. They just can't. You've got to be committed deeply to it and say, you know what? Above everything else, I'm going to change. I'm going to break this habit and I'm going to change it. You may be able to get support from friends, from relatives, but you'll need to believe in yourself first and foremost. If you don't believe in yourself, everybody in the world can tell you to do it. But if you don't believe in it, you're not going to. Then you need to train your mind and change your attitude. You need to train your mind and change the attitude. Oh, remember, it all starts up here. We need to change that attitude in order to make change a lasting one. So this weekend, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to think about an area, a habit, maybe that you want to break. Maybe that's annoying. Maybe that's bothering you. Maybe that's not pleasuresome. Maybe that's, you know, it's time for me to change. And I want you to assess it. What is it that I need? Why am I doing it? I want you to identify it. I want you to acknowledge it. Yes, this is the area I need to change. I want you to commit daily to it. At least commit that over the next 30 days, I'm gonna commit to changing this habit. And then I want you to execute the action. I want you to take it and I want you to say, I'm gonna start right now. And I want you to go forward. Thanks everyone, I hope this message today was helpful for you. I know that habits are not easy to break, but with the right mind and the right attitude and the right determination, we can, with the right set of tools, we can do it. Hey, write me. ARRichards99 at gmail.com. Check out the website, yourleadershipacademy.org. Getting people, uh, uh, responses and questions from people. Hey, you're, you're a person of excellence. I know you started it last week, and week two is next Tuesday night. Can I join? Well, we're going to be starting another one after this one completes. No, once it starts, it, it's the group that's in there has got to stay in there. So we'll let you know. We'll keep you updated as to when the next one will start, but it'll be in mid to late February. All right, have yourself a great weekend. In about 20, 30 minutes, this program will be uploaded to YouTube. You can check it out by simply going to youtube.com. Type in Tony Richards Life Focus. Be safe this weekend. Continue to wear your mask. Take care out there. Take care of one another. Be safe. We'll see you Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Go break a habit <laughs> and go forward.